What's up everybody? It's your boy Meme here. This is my second time recording this video because in the first time I had recorded it for six minutes and then I leaked my address. So, you know. Uh, for breakfast I had nothing, but for brunch I had um, this, this mac and cheese that I made. It was very stressful for some reason. And uh, you know, by the time I was eating it, I was already kind of stressed out and I was still kind of reeling from the stress of making it. I was very stressed out for some reason. And uh, you know, it just wasn't that good because I couldn't enjoy it. Uh, but for dinner, I ended up having um, uh, the mess sandwich at work, and that's one of my favorite sandwiches, so that was good. Speaking of work, three weird things happened, four weird things happened. Uh, number one, I was scheduled for three hours, and it was like three to six, and it was, that's strange because, you know, it's, I, I'm almost never scheduled three hours, you know, because that's just a strange amount of time to be scheduled. Uh, second strange thing that happened is, you know, I was putting a, a Dr. Pepper into the fridge, and I don't know what happened. It must have just like phased through my hand or something. I, I have no idea how it fell on the floor, but I was putting a uh, Dr. Pepper into the grab and go fridge and uh, totally fell on the floor and you know, <laughs> you know, a bunch of Dr. Pepper foam sprayed out of this can uh, directly onto my water bottle that was on the floor and you know, onto the wall and onto my pants and my shoes, it was, it was bad, right? And uh, you know, I, I kind of just looked at this for like a second and a half, just trying to figure out what was going on because you know, it was very loud and you know, and, um, you know, I'm like, oh my god, and so I just throw it in the trash can, and, uh, you know, it ends up being fine, uh, I, I think one of my, one of my co-workers ends up, um, I, I don't, I don't know who, ends up, um, draining it and uh, just putting it into, like, a separate trash bin, and I end up just mopping up the floor and, um, cleaning up the, the side of the trash can that was also covered in Dr. Pepper, uh, so that sucked. The third weird thing that happened is... The, the fourth weird thing that happened, I'm not sure if it's the third or the fourth, the fourth weird thing that happened is, um, you know, this, this customer came into work, um, and, and it came in, right, and then she asked, she asked my coworker if me and her were, um, were, like, dating, which is a very weird thing to ask two people who are, who are working together, right, that's very strange, and, uh, you know, she was like, oh, oh, no, she, you know, she laughed, she did, like, a, like, a customer service, very, very, candid response, even though that was a very strange question, which, to be fair, you know, you can't just, you can't be rude to a customer, but, um, you know, it did a standard response, and, uh, you know, then she's like, oh, are you guys related, which is particularly weird, uh, because my coworker is, is, like, Asian, right, and, uh, you know, I, I don't think I look very Asian, but, uh, apparently she thought we were, must have been related, or dating, or something, I, I don't know why she thought this, because we weren't even communicating or, like, interacting with each other. She's like point. She was like you two. Like it, it was so weird, and uh, you know, I, I was thinking at the time, um, you know, she must not be talking about me. Like she must be talking about my other coworker, um, you know, who who looks more like her, right? And um, you know, I I was thinking like, oh, she must have not been talking about me. That's really weird, but she must have not been talking about me. Um, and then she left, and uh, she's like, did you hear what she just said? And I was like, no. And, well, she was like, did you hear what she just said? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, that's so weird that she'd say that about you. I was like, why would you ever say that? That's so strange. Oh, I just thought it was so odd. Uh, and yeah, those are all the weird things that happened today um, at work. But here's my dilemma. And um, here's the thing. Here's the part where I leaked my address. Okay. Um, <laughs> my, my problem was that I had to open this up in a non-private window. And uh, it just said my address, like right here, like select delivery location. It was just, it was just my address here. Um, I'm thinking about buying a mechanical pencil, uh, and I kind of want to get a drafting pencil because I could get something like a zebra Delgard, uh, but I dislike how the nice thing about drafting pencils is you can see at the very tip there. Um, I think it's called the lead guard. It, um, the lead sleeve or something. It is very um, long, and you can see that if I go to this um, other other drafting pencil here, you can also see that. Um, and I'm really, I'm really trying to choose between the Rotring like 600 and the Platinum Pro Use 171, right? Now, the cool thing about the Rotring 600 is that it's a very cool pencil. Uh, but a lot of people like the uh, like the black version. I think I like it more, but you know, the silver one is better for engraving. So I'm gonna get this one if I were to get this one. Uh, and you know, Rotring has a very um, long history with pencils, and they're very cool looking, and um, you know, it's just, it's just a very nice pencil in general. It's made out of, um, uh, it's made out of brass, I'm pretty sure, uh, which is kind of crazy. Um, so, yeah, 
this is the raw terrain. Which, by the way, by the way, is $34. And if this was $48, I wouldn't even be considering this, right? Or I could get the Platinum Pro Use 171. Uh, and the nice thing about this is that it has kind of a lead guard system, like the Zebra Dell guard, uh, as in it, um, if you press down too hard on the lead, the lead actually retracts into the into the lead sleeve. And so that's one of the nice things about that. Uh, and also, you can see that little um, kind of rotating thing right here. Uh, well, this thing rotates and it actually brings in the, uh, the lead sleeve um, in and out of the pencil. So when you're done, you can just roll it back up and um, you know, it won't poke anything, right? Uh, and also the way cheaper, right? So I think this one has more functionality, but this one just looks way cooler. Like this, say what you will, you know, this looks like way more than like 10 times cooler than this, you know? This is infinitely cool. This is uh, kind of mid looking, right? Uh, but it's way more functional. So I'm not sure if I should go for the way more functional, but kind of mid looking one or the um, very cool looking and, you know, way more popular um, rotary one. Um, so, you know, I'm really thinking about it. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, and here's the last thing, okay? Whoa. Uh, as you may know, I'm a big fan of the podcast of The Yard, right? It's got a lot of uh, funny people in it. They can run bits very well. Uh, and they're all like, like kind of smart. And you know, I, I like them, they're cool, they're cool guys, right? Um, but here's my problem, okay? Uh, I'm also a big fan of CGP Grey. Uh, the YouTuber and podcaster, and I, I have listened fully to one of his podcasts. I actually have the flag of one of his podcasts on my wall right now. And um, I also am currently catching up on his other podcast, Cortex. Um, and I'm on like episode like 80 or something right now. Um, I'm, I'm not sure. And, and I'm a big fan of his content and a big fan of his stuff. Um, and he has some strange takes sometimes, like he's very um, pro-car. And uh, he 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 loves he loves Tesla, and I I, li I like speaks of Tesla. I like Tesla, but like he's very um, strange about Tesla. Like he, he thinks of it more as a um, less as a, like a car company that makes fine cars, and more as a company that is like like a calling like a like a tipping point to like changing the world for like a future of automation and just this strange stuff and uh, you know stuff that I don't necessarily believe, necessarily believe in, right? And um, you know. Uh, in his podcast, he has some very good productivity tips. He talks a lot about time tracking and like email and stuff. And I think that's very interesting. And uh, he has some good takes on technology that I like. <laughs> Not Tesla cars, but like new phones that come out. Like I, I like his takes on phones and stuff. And um, you know, I'm a big fan of him. Uh, and on the yard, uh, Ludwig, Ludwig Ogren, he's a, he's a pretty big YouTuber. And um, he was talking about how CGP Grey had totally struck his VODs channel twice, right? Which is, which is crazy. That's, you know, if, if you don't know, that's a very weird thing to do. Uh, because if you strike a channel once, if you strike a channel three times, that means that the channel is terminated permanently, right? And uh, you can strike a channel if the if it has a YouTube video that's um, copyrighted, right? Um, and it, that, that is your content, and you can strike it if you want because um, it's your content, right? And I'm pretty sure you get the revenue from the video. But anyway, CGP Grey had striked two of Ludwig's bots. One of them was from this this really long stream he did. He streamed for a month straight. And uh, the other one was from this other thing, I don't know. And uh, apparently CGP Grey is very anti-reacting. You know, personally, I'm very anti-reacting. Uh, but, you know, I understand that's kind of the meta right now. And that, you know, you can't really succeed in the streaming world right now if you don't react. Um, so, you know, I think that really sucks. But, you know, there's not much you can do to change it right now. Um, so here's my thing. Uh, it's, it's very strange because a lot of them were making fun of CGB Grey and a lot of them uh, were talking about how it's like impossible to get into contact with him, all in a very negative sense. And uh, you know, in a lot of his podcasts, CGB Grey talks about how he's hard to get in contact with uh, because it like helps his productivity. And it's also kind of like a weird, like quirky thing that he talks about. And uh, well, mainly the, 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 the other host talks about Right, about, oh, it's so weird, it's so weird how, how long you take to respond to things. Um, and of course, you know, in situations like this, it's, it's very good, but it makes me realize that's a really weird thing to do, to not be able to get in contact with people, you know, when you do things such as striking a channel twice. Um, so, you know, I don't know. Uh, yeah. That's it. And I think this is my longest video in a while, and I think we might hit the 10 minute mark, which is crazy. That means, you know, if this channel was monetized, I'd be able to put a, put a mineral in there. 
Although I'm pretty sure the limit is eight minutes now, but yeah. Well, ten minutes now. All right. See you, dude. Um, I'm pretty sure that's it. I'm pretty sure that's all there is to talk. See you, dude.